Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about cell problems by deposition. Here is a cell. This is the protein. If this cell keeps making this protein too much for the cell, then the cell is going to be in trouble. Another bad potential is if the protein now starts to be a little bit different than its uh, functional form. Maybe there's a problem in protein folding or there is some kind of mutation that breaks this protein structure, then protein will now be a little bit different. At the end of the day, there is this deposition of bad things in the cell and this can be a problem as well. Finally, this cell with that protein may take up some X factors from outside and these X factors can stay in the cell and if these X factors cannot be eliminated, then it's again bad for this cell. Um, let me give you some example of these X factors. The first is carbon. Your lung cells take up a lot of carbon molecules that are part of the tobacco smoke. These carbons cannot be easily broken down. And also the lymph node in your mediastinum take up these bad cells and take up these carbon molecules as well. So in a long run, your lung and mediastinum lymph node will accumulate these bad carbons. And we call this carbon deposition anthracosis. And next, iron can also deposit in a cell. Your cell can process iron molecules, but the processing is not perfect. Depositing of iron is called siderosis. And the next one is a silica. Sand, stones, uh, a lot of naturally occurring hard things contain this silica and uh, we call the deposition of this silicosis. And the last one is tattoo inks. There's a lot of uh, metal molecule in tattoo ink and uh, they will be taken up by macrophages or your tissue cells. These cells can't process them and you will just end up getting tattoo in that area of your skin. So all these are external stuff that a cell can take up but cannot process well. Some leads to problem, some we do uh, as a cultural practice. Now I wanna give you a few examples of cells own process going bad leading to these deposition problems. The first one is breaking down of uh, blood. So hemoglobin in the breakdown process will turn into a bilirubin and metal containing structure. And this metal containing structure can deposit, cause cirrhosis, and the bilirubin can also deposit and cause Juan dyes. Also, your body makes this molecule called melanin. Melanin can deposit in a cell. A cell will be in trouble if too much deposition. Lipofusin, your cell will digest lipids and do a lot of stuff with them. But not every lipid can be processed and some stay. For example, unsaturated fat uh, cannot be completely processed and they can become lipofusin and stay in the cell. Cells accumulate lipofusin as they age. They are considered the wear and tear element of the cell. Lysosome can surround a thing in your cell and digest it. And there is a set of disease called the lysosomal uh, storage disease. People have problem in their lysosome and uh, they cannot break down things as fast as normal people. So they'll end up accumulating these bad stuff and uh, they'll have systematic cellular problems. Oh, and lastly, I want to tell you about calcium buildup. So we talk about carbon, iron, silica, tattoo, and there are many but calcium can also build up in a cell. Uh, there are two types. One is called the dystrophic. In dystrophic calcification, dead cells will have a lot of calcium in it. And this happens because leakiness of many things change when somebody dies and calcium builds up. And the next is called the metabolic calcification. Metabolic calcification happens when live cells have problems in their calcium storage or calcium processing or whatever calcium related things and these cells start to build up calcium and many vital tissues can have this metabolic calcification problem 